Today we're making black bean and sweet potato hash. This healthy, hearty dish will warm you when you're cold, it will fill you up when you're hungry, and although it won't win any beauty contests, what it lacks in looks, it more than makes up for in flavor. Let's get cooking. All we'll need to pull this recipe together are the usual aromatics, onion and some cloves of garlic, sweet potatoes, cooked black beans, some spices and salt, and a little olive oil to cook it in. As always, full recipe is in the description below. I'm going to get this onion diced, the garlic minced, and the sweet potato chopped. We've gotten our chopping done. We've diced our onion, minced our garlic, and chopped some sweet potatoes into about a half inch dice. And we've also heated about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm using a nonstick pan. If your pan um, is not nonstick um, or not cast iron, you might find you need a little bit more olive oil than that. But we've got that heated over medium and it is ready for our onion. Here goes the onion. And this wound up being most of a large onion, or if you have a medium yellow or white onion, that'll be just right. We are going to cook this onion until it is soft, but not browned, about maybe four or five minutes of sauteing, and uh, then we will add our garlic. Our onions have softened. It took about five minutes. A few slightly golden brown bits, but overall not particularly browned. We are going to add our minced garlic to the pan and cook for another 30 seconds or so. And once that garlic's been in there for about 30 seconds, we're going to add our sweet potatoes. I wound up with about five cups of sweet potatoes. That uh, for me was the result of chopping, say two pounds or so of sweet potatoes. You can definitely adjust this up or down um, if you want more sweet potatoes versus uh, fewer or a higher like bean to potato ratio. Do whatever you want with it. It's definitely not an exact science. All right, that's been about our 30 seconds. Indoor sweet potatoes. Get all those guys in there. We're gonna give that a stir. And add just a bit more olive oil to coat those potatoes. That be maybe another teaspoon or so. And once our sweet potatoes are tossed in the olive oil, we're gonna go ahead and add our spices. We have about a half a teaspoon of salt. If your beans that you're using are not seasoned at all or totally unsalted, you'll want to add a little more salt than that. I'm using uh, Cuban style black beans that I prepared, I don't know, a while back and tucked into the freezer. Uh, so you'll vary that salt level depending on your beans. You'll also um, vary your spices, your, your pepper, depending on your taste. So here I have about a half a teaspoon of ground cayenne. That's cayenne pepper that I grew, dried, and then ground. I know it's really hot. If you're not sure your cayenne's hot uh, or you want something uh, a little bit milder, adjust as needed. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a tablespoon of cumin, ground cumin, a tablespoon of ground coriander. And we're gonna put all of that in with our sweet potato mixture. Give that a good stir to coat the potatoes. And then we'll be covering this pan and letting that cook 
uh, turn the heat down a little bit since we're covering the pan. And we're gonna let those potatoes cook until they are um, fork tender. So um, our beans are already cooked. We'll be adding those to warm, but we really uh, mostly now are just cooking our sweet potatoes. So we'll, we'll check on those every five minutes or so, stir um, each time we check, and we will be back with some tender potatoes. Our sweet potatoes have been cooking for just shy of 20 minutes. They are tender, but not smushy yet. And so we can see kind of how those look nice and coated in the spices. The last step is to add our black beans. I have about a cup and a half of cooked black beans here. These are from a recipe that is already on the channel, delicious Cuban style black beans. You can absolutely use a can of black beans um, and uh, just make sure that you adjust your seasonings. If those are unsalted, for example, you'll want to add a little more salt. If they, um, they are well seasoned, then you know, might um, adjust from there. You can always add salt, pretty tough. To take it away. All right, so in go our beans. And these are just going to cook for a few more minutes just to let the flavors meld and particularly if your beans are not warm to let the beans heat up. And that's really all the more we're going to need to do. So we will stir this together, cover it back up, let it cook for a few more minutes and our, our hash will be done. Our beans have been in the pan for four or five minutes, enough time for them to warm through and for the flavors to meld together. Now it's time to take a taste. Mm. Just right. Of course, if you needed to add salt or spice or anything else at this point, you definitely could. Mine are just where I like them to be. So I'm going to turn the heat off, plate up some dinner, and I certainly hope that you try these out for yourself for a nice, hearty, totally vegetarian um, and rather healthy weeknight meal. Check back again every Friday at 4 o'clock for a new video.